Welcome back, we're doing exercise 17.3 and um, these relate to the double angle formula that are on the course. So the double angle formula that are on the course are like cos of 2a is equal to cos squared minus sine squared. Okay, that'd be the cos of a minus sine squared. The sine of 2a is equal to double the sine of a times the cos of a. Then in a, in, a, in a twisted around kind of format, we have that cos squared a is equal to half of 1 plus the cos of 2a. And we have sine squared a is equal to a half of 1 minus the cosine of 2a. Furthermore, we have the uh, double angle formulas in terms of tan. So we would have, uh, for example, the cos of 2a equals 1 minus t squared over 1 plus t squared, and where, where, one, where t equals tan of a. The cos and sine generally share a common denominator, Newton new denominator, Okay, so this one is 2t over 1 plus t squared. And the tan of 2t, 2a, well, it has something in common with sine, the top. And it has, in common, it has opposite over adjacent, typically. So it will have the, the top of cos is typically the bottom of tan. Okay. It's nice to be able to just... Um, know them. You go to page 14. I just want to give you a little tip. You should really be able to navigate your your exam, your your your, your book. And I'm sure enough, you can go to contents. But um, we also want to be able to just get a rough idea of where where is page 14. So I'm just guessing you're just a sliver in. Okay, I missed it by one, and you know you should know that that's one too far. But if you get to it in one, you're doing well. Okay. So, uh, just check, did I write them down right? Um, you should be doing this all the time, 2t over 1 minus t squared. That was correct. That was the tan that was written incorrectly. The cosine, 1 minus t squared over 1 plus t squared, and the sine should be right too. So there was a very interesting um, process, and I'll, re I'll return to that later. I just want you to look at all these videos. Okay, um, so getting into this, we're going to... We we're given a cosine and we're asked to find co cos of double angle and sine of double angle. So I can I, I just implore you to do a reference triangle with an angle A here, an adjacent of 3, and a hypotenuse of 5. Okay, and then Pythagoras tells us that this is 4. Then we will use the cos formula, the this, this simple, actually there's two ways to do it, write your answer in fraction form. So it would be, it'd be nice to do it, and we will, we'll, we'll be optimistic and we'll do them both ways. What I mean by that is cos squared, now you should be able to read cos squared, I'm, I'm going up here, and saying that this here is cos squared minus sine squared. Okay. So cos squared, and I, I'm being quite lazy about putting in the a sometimes because if you're not, if you're talking about a double angle, always write it in. If you're talking about a single angle, you can t take your pick as long as you do your work, as long as you do the calculation right. So cos here is three fifths. Wants to be squared, and sine is four fifths. That wants to be squared. And when all is said and done, you've got 9 takes 16, you end up with minus 7 over 25. Now let's say you went on the, went the other, other route and you went with 1 minus the tan squared. Well, the tan would be 4 thirds squared over 1 plus 4 thirds squared. It has to be that we end up with the same answer. Um, so let's take that down here. I wouldn't suggest you do it this way. You can certainly see why this is harder. You've got to do a lot more fractions. So minus 7 over 25 is the correct way to go and you're done and dusted. 
However, just to challenge myself, I'm going to do it this way as well. Okay. So when I'm doing one take away four thirds squared, I'm thinking about three thirds squared minus four thirds squared being the top, because that'll make things more easy to compare. Okay, and that is 9 take 16, which is 7 over 9, divided by 9 plus 16 over 9. And the 9s cancel and you get minus 7 over 25, as you should. Now the, this is even easier still. The formula is double the sine times the cosine. So that would give us double four fifths three fifths four fifths three fifths okay so keep multiplying along the top there you get 24 and along the bottom there you get 25 just a word of warning don't ever ever accept a sign or a cos of anything that's bigger than one okay or less than minus one so both of those are in the zone that we'd like them to be in write your answer as a fraction and don't use a calculator okay it wasn't that a load of fun now we go on to the next one Okay, tan is a fifth, blah, blah, blah. Oh, yeah, now this, this, this is important, we'll accept that. Remember, we're in, we're in the first quadrant. Find the value of tan of two theta. So heading into the formula for tan, let's see, can we remember it? Tan of two A. Well, and, and let's just give ourselves a little tip, uh, opposite over adjacent. So two T is the top. And the adjacent is the same as the top of cosine which is 1 minus t squared, I'm pretty sure. Now, I've challenged myself, and now I'm going to go and have a look. Did I get that right? And tan of 2 theta is equal to 2t over 1 minus t squared. If you don't try to remember them each time, then you're, you're going to fall back on just looking them up, and you're going to be performing at a lower level than you should be. Okay, so so we have a tan of two a is equal to two t over one minus t squared. So these are all in terms of t of tan. So in this case, that's a fifth. So we got two fifths. Okay, over one minus a fifth squared. Okay which is two fifths. Let's multiply it top and, well, you could use a calculator at this stage, but of course, in the spirit of things, we're not supposed to use our calculator. One minus one twenty-fifth is 24 twenty-fifths. Okay, now, um, let's turn the bottom upside down. And you get 10 over 24. Now, tan was allowed to get bigger than that, but that's, that's how it's coming out for me, 10 over 24. Okay, and we're done. Okay, next up. A is an acute angle such that the sine of A is 2 root 2 over 3. Create a reference triangle. So the opposite is 2 root 2. My angle must be marked here and my hypotenuse is 3. Now apply, I, I'm almost certain you're going to need to know what this is. So go ahead and apply, work out that. But it's going to be the square root of 9 minus 8, which is 1. Now, how did I do that? I went two twos is four, and I lifted him out because he was in a square root in the first place. Two fours is eight. Okay, and should do, do, maybe how can we double check that? Well, nine take away one is eight. Yeah, it's fine. Everything is good. Everything is good to go now. So, without using a calculator, find cosine. Find a sine. So we use the identity twice the sine times the cosine. 
Okay, well the sine we know is 2 root 2 over 3 and the cosine is 1 over root 3. So we have 2 root 2 over 9. Find the cos of 2a formula, cos squared minus sine squared. Cos is a third to be squared. I didn't need the I didn't need the brackets, yeah of course I did. A third to be squared minus the square of sine. Okay, now the very same reason, two two is four, that's eight over nine. So what we're looking at is a 9 to take 8 ninths, which is negative 7 ninths. Okay, that's perfectly valid. And what we've done is we've gone, our cosine has gone into the acute range. It's gone into quadrant 2. And because it's gone into quadrant 2, we're getting a negative cosine value. So perfectly, we're perfectly happy with that and it resonates and it makes sense of what we know, what we're expecting. So I'm coming along now to tan of 2a. And um, so the tan of 2a, there's only one formula for that. With sine and cos, you have two op you have two options. You've got these two, and then you've got these two. But with tan, you have only one option. So two t over one minus t squared is the tan. So you so the tan of two a. Now do not write that as a t, okay? Because he's 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 special. But if we just want to, because the tan of a repeats so often, we go two t over one minus t squared. Okay. Well, the tan of a is root is two root two. So t equals two root two because that's what I'm, that's what I mean by t, by t is tan of a. So this is equal to two times two root two. Come on, let's write that as four root two over one minus eight. That's equal to four root two over seven. So let's bring up the negative and put the seven there. So minus four root two over seven is what tan of two a is worth. Now evaluate each of the following without a calculator. So the, if these are single angles, this, this, this just reminds us immediately of being the formula for the sine of double the angle. Well, that's the sine of 30 degrees. Okay, because the sine of 2a is equal to 2 times sine cosine. Okay. Looking at the bottom one there, it's a cosine squared minus a sine squared. So if the cosine squared minus a sine squared, well that's the cos of 2a. So we need to double up our 75. Um, double up 75 is cos of 50. So we're getting cos squared 150 minus sine squared 150. Now it did say don't use a calculator, so let's challenge ourselves here and think about 150 being really having a reference angle of 30. Okay, now sine is positive in here, so this can be replaced with min simply minus sine squared. 30, but the cosine has to go negative when we, when we introduce the reference angle here. So this becomes mine. Now we have to be careful here because by the time you squared it, it doesn't make any difference. And that's an interesting fact. So I was wasting my time wondering about the cast analysis, thinking whether it's positive or negative, because who cares when you're squaring? Nobody. Okay, so 150 has a, has a reference angle and the magnitude of the reference angle is all we care about, of 30. So the cos of 30 is root 3 over 2, and we're squaring it, and the sine of 30 is a half and we're squaring it. So by the time we're finished with this, that will turn into 3 over 4 minus 1 over 4 which is indeed equal to one half. Okay, sorry, I went off screen there. Isn't that lovely? Are we done? Mm, not really, I mean, do, can we learn some more? Um, 
75 is up here with 15 going that way. And this was had 15 going that way. So these questions are very similar. Okay, apart from sign, so one thing I would say here is that if you put the uh, complementary angle, which was 75 in there, you'd get the same result. Because swapping 15 to 75, or swapping 30 to 60, or swapping A to 90 minus A, the only difference is it's going to change the sign and the cost, but they're going to swap with each other. So another interesting result we can think about here is double the sign of A cos A is equal to, obviously double the sign of 90 minus A cos of 90 minus A. I don't know that much use to us. Okay, we did our job. We have loads of homework. Let's push on. But don't ever forget to look back at the end. It's an absolute shame not to. Evaluate without using a calculator. What are we looking at? We're looking at 2t over 1 minus t squared. Okay, we're looking at the tan of 2a. Pause it there if you like. You need to know these formula like the back of your hand. Well, strictly speaking, you don't have to, but my advice is get, we'll use them. Okay, so this is the tan. By the time we're finished with all of this, all it is, is the tan of 150 degrees. Now that's, in a, that's a straightforward cast. So tan is negative in these two quadrants. So all we care about is tan is negative in this quadrant. And it has a reference angle of 30. The tan of 30 is 1 over root 3. So, so by the time we're finished we get minus.